being attacked. G'day, how you going? Got my bazooka here with my EM1 Mark II. Uh, it's the 100 to 400 millimeter. Now, now this is my only telephoto birding, you know, wildlife lens. And you now you think you'd have to go out and get wet and in the sand and whatever. <laughs> well, I've got my neighbour has got a one of those almond trees right in front of me. And I've got the window here and it's just uh, amazing all the cockatoos that are out. I hope they don't come through the window. I mean, they're coming right up, right up to the window. I think they're sitting on the roof, Jerry. Jerry, they're sitting on the roof. Oi, are you gonna help me? Or are you too busy licking? <laughs> Yeah, they're, uh, they're coming right through. I mean, I've got the, I took the windscreen off. A bit scared that they're going to come through the bloody window. It's the end of summer, start of autumn, so all the seeds are dropping. And um, yeah, I got really lucky <laughs> where I live, right in front of me. There's another, there's a jacaranda tree over there. Oh, I missed it. And he had his crest up. Still got it up. Come on, mate, leave it up. I've got to drop the comp uh, exposure compensation because it gets a little bit too light on the feathers. That's one stop down. Then the ISO cops it. I should really use Pro Capture here. Oh, sugar. Cheers. <laughs> you can't get any more relaxed than this. <laughs> Put my feet up. And uh, Jerry. We'll take photos of uh, of cockies. Now, when I was reviewing the photos while I was taking, it just didn't look sharp. Um, it felt like I was missing everything. And I don't know, when I was reviewing the shots, it just didn't feel like this was sharp. But then when I brought it over to um, the computer, yeah, they're, they're okay. So um, mind you, I had to clean it up a bit. It's amazing what that DxO Prime can do that cleans up the noise, because I had the ISO pretty high. So, um, once I chucked it through DxO and then threw it on Luminar Neo, yeah, they, they turned out all right. I mean, and they're not the sharpest of um, photos, but overall, I'm happy with it. Um, I'm happy with this lens. It, it is a little bit bulky. Uh, maybe if I take off this um, ring here to give a little bit less weight to it because my hands do get tired out in the field would be even worse but <laughs> i had it so easy here i just had my hands prepped up like that on the sink uh looking out the window and um yeah i just i, I was thinking that all oh, right this is useless i can't do this but just bear with it because when you do bring it back to the computer there's a lot you can do to clean it up um sharpen it and like i said it's not the sharpest of you know the award-winning you know super sharp close on the eye type photos but it's that's okay it's it's enough to to chuck it on instagram and um you know you, you can get away with it and if you zoom back that's the other thing there were a lot of shots there's a funny bit where the birds were bloody flying right at me um you got to zoom back now I've seen like um, a few photographers on YouTube who are saying, oh geez, I wish I could zoom back because they use like professional prime lenses like the 300 millimeter or the, the Canon, you know, big bazooka Canon ones. You know, if the bird approaches you or the animal approaches you, it's like, oh shit, you know, what am I going to do now? Um, so with this, it you can zoom back. So that's the beauty of the zoom.
Jerry. Cocky. Cocky's everywhere, Jerry. It's like sitting ducks, Jerry. Sitting ducks, Jerry. There's an almond tree next door. It's full of cockies around this time of the year, around April, uh, late March. <laughs> it's just it's like sitting ducks. I'm just in my um, kitchen here and <laughs> it's right in front of me. I just open up the windows. The only problem is <laughs> the uh, lady next door, she doesn't like it because they eat all the, they eat all the almond nuts and uh, she gets the hose out on them, which is actually kind of all right because <laughs> I can. Um, she scares them off, and then they fly, and then I can catch them. The shots in the tree aren't that good, although that one's awesome. Look at that. Come on, mate. Have a look up. I want to get their their crest up, but I think the only time they do their the only time they get their crest up is when they land. So you gotta get them landing somewhere and then their crest goes up. That's the uh, the money shot. The beauty of the zoom is that you can push back a bit. Because if I had the 300, if I had the 300, I couldn't move back to get the hole to see where the hell they are. Now, I'm pretty sure, although I haven't tested it, that the primes are better, you know, obviously, and, and the price too. <laughs> I mean, some of those lenses are like 10 grand, especially that new Olympus one, the 150 to 400. If you can get one, I think they're on back order for like a year or something from what I saw on Olympus video that they did, the official one. But they're like eight grand or something, 10 grand Australian. A lot of the shots also, if you don't, you know, get it precisely in the air or, you know, like classic wingspan or whatever, you can kind of creatively also get a shot, you know, by adding the environment. That's why a zoom is good. You can zoom back at 100 millimeters and kind of get the environment a bit more. And you can get creative with it, you know, black and white or whatever, you know, include, you know, elements like I, had this sequence where the winds were spanned and there was a big color bond fence in, in the way, uh, in the background. And I just used that, I made it a bit crunchier. And I just thought, yeah, add a sequence, be a bit more creative um, with the framing and the composition. Uh, so it doesn't always have to be zoomed in on the eye, perfect, um, yeah, I mean, of course, <laughs> I'd love that. I mean, if I could get the perfect shot where, you know, the eagle was right in front of me. But these cockies, man, I tell you, what, they're shifty littles. There was one, they, they all came on my roof. And I don't know what the hell was in one of them, but he had like a big stick, like a big metal rod or something. I think it's fallen off the roof. <laughs> I just got lucky, yeah, where I uh, live, that there's a tree there. Hey, just before I go... If you like Luminar Neo, I've been um, invited to do that affiliation with them. So I've got links in the description. So if you like Luminar Neo, support the channel and you can use those links in the description um, to download it. Uh, it's pretty good Luminar Neo. It's really good for beginners um, to advanced. So anyway, yeah, they, they, um, I'm an affiliate now so with them. So I just, I'll, I'll do more videos and promote Luminar Neo. Um, as well because I, that's what I use a lot so I thought why not um, make videos and tutorials on it as well and yeah so link in the description and uh, you yeah, know thanks for that I'll uh, catch you on the next one